What up, my dudes? Eli Flomack gets his first win of the season at St. Louis. Turkey Boy was lurking at the actual real-life race, so we got to see Tomac in person here on the track. So, okay. Let's just get the obvious out of the way right off the bat here. Yes, Tomac did kind of get some help here with, you know, all of the crazy shit that happened to Jet Lawrence in that second main event with the Red Cross flag and like six or nine people didn't see it and Vince Freeze was not even heard and he was actually in between the finish line jump, so it was a pointless red flag anyways. It should have been a caution, but... Yeah, so that was just kind of a stupid thing with Jet Lawrence having a flawless second race and then get docked two positions. But then you get to the third main event and the whole Barsha Bam Bam and <laughs> um, Jet Lawrence. Of course, yes, we know that probably wasn't intentional there. He also had Vince Freezy behind him, so I can't really blame Justin Barsha there. Funny how Vince Freezy involved in both situations that uh, kind of killed... Jet Lawrence's flow in the overall main event points there, but yeah, so it is a bit shocking that we're just now seeing Tomac get his first win of the season, and it was on a triple crown where Jet Lawrence had all these, you know, weird, unfortunate mishaps happen, and also another big thing here to mention, Tomac just conveniently, you know, comes out and says that he had some sort of a bit of a injury over the last few rounds. I don't know. It was like some sort of a leg, knee little thing that was bothering him that he said that was causing the weird results over the last few rounds. That doesn't really explain all of the, the you know, not normal Tomac results that we saw earlier in the season. <laughs> Doesn't really explain all that, but yeah, it is kind of interesting how Tomac just now decides to fill us in on that news that he had some sort of tweaked his knee or some shit. But yeah, it's been cracking me up, bro. <laughs> just seeing this back and forth online of everybody, you know, when Tomac will have like a pretty good result, it's like, Tomac's back, bro. We told you, dude. He's back, bro. Oh, shit, dude. All this stuff. Like, you were so wrong. And then when he has like two or three races where he ain't really doing shit, it's like, oh, the, the change of the guard. Tomac's an old man. Oh, shit. Oh, what's going on, bro? Tomac's too old. He ain't got it no more. Like, bro, why, why does it have to be like that? I don't understand. This is very, very simple. This is not, it's not any of that. It's not, Tomac's old, Tomac can't do it anymore. Oh God, Jet's just too good. Like, it. it's really not like that. It's just simply the Achilles injury and the time that he had to come back from it was not enough for him to go out there and be the same Tomac that he was last year. that It's really just that simple. I don't know why everybody has turned it into everything other than that, but that's the way I see it. That's exactly what it is. And I don't know how much more proof of that you can get than Tomac still being able to go out there and win a race still being able to go out there and have good races, but it's just not as consistent. You know, that to me is more of a, like the, he's still got it, but it, he's just not able to, you know, really go in there and be at that super, super Tomac championship level like he was last year because the because of not having enough time coming back from the injury and you know Jet Lawrence coming off of a perfect outdoor season and basically just being able to carry that momentum forward you know that's the way I'm looking at it like like if Tomac just wanted to race next year and he spent all that time in the off season being able to train and you know really get himself back to that level in Supercross I genuinely think Tomac could come out next year and be the kind of Tomac that you know him to be. He, he could be the kind of Tomac that he was last year, right? 
Like, I genuinely believe he could do that. I'm not saying he would do that because I think there's a lot of talks of him retiring and he might race a couple of outdoor rounds or whatever, but I'm just saying if he really wanted to and he actually had enough time to get himself back to that level, you know, from the Achilles injury, I genuinely think he could do that. It's just simply a, a, th a case of, I think it's just like, not enough time for coming back from that gnarly of an injury. That's what I believe it in. Bro, I'm just going to keep casing that jump. <laughs> oh, kind of crazy on Supergrass too. how some of these tracks actually have some like jump skill gap to them. That's pretty cool. But, but yeah, um, you can't ignore the fact of, you know, Jet Lawrence certainly having some very kind of unlucky, uncharacteristic just bizarre things happening on this triple crown race and it wasn't even a normal supercross race it is definitely a different animal winning a supercross uh triple crown overall than it is winning a regular 20 minute supercross main event do you understand what i'm saying like um and i think it was uh the second main event if i'm not mistaken where Tomac actually got a pretty decent start there behind Jet Lawrence, and I could see him on the track in person, and it definitely had that look. It had that vibe like, okay, this kind of looks like Tomac's going to catch up to Jet and like make a pass on him or make a run up to him to try to get up to him, and this is going to be like a good battle. And I remember there was one little moment in that back rhythm section where Tomac just made one little small mistake right there behind Jet Lawrence, and it's like that's all it took to make it where Tomac lost the toe and like there was going to be no chance of him catching Jet in the rest of that race. All from that one little, one little bobble in that rhythm section, you know, he was pretty close to him up to that point, and it looked like we were going to see a battle, but then he, it wasn't even like he really messed up that big either. It was just one little slight little, you know, instead of jumping one of the triples in the middle, he jumped like a double. You know what I'm saying? It was something like that right there. And that was all it took for Jet Lawrence to get just enough ahead where there, it was like there was no chance in hell Tomac was going to be able to catch him. So even with Tomac getting his first win of the season, I still don't think you were fully seeing that beast mode level or that Tomac pre-Achilles injury in Supercross. I still don't think you were fully seeing that. Um, I still think Tomac has just been... 80% regular Tomac this season, and I still believe that even after him getting his first win, you know, and let's not sit here and pretend, Spency Boy rapping out here, It this is not Tomac's best Supercross season. This is probably one of his worst, you know, for you to get all the way to round, what the hell is it, round 12, 13, whatever, and you're just now seeing Tomac get his first win of the season, that just kind of goes to show you this ain't normal Tomac, but again, I don't look at it anything like it being a, oh, Tomac's just an old man, oh, he just can't do it anymore. I look at it, it's entirely to blame on the Achilles injury and not having enough time to get himself back to that, you know, original Tomac level. So definitely let me know down in the comments what you guys think, but y'all boys are going to have to settle down with all that. Tomac's back. Tomac's not back. Oh my God, he's the same guy. Oh my God, he's not the same guy. He's an old man. Oh my God, what's going on with Tomac? Holy shit, what's going on? How about you just realize maybe uh he's coming off of a fresh Achilles, ruptured Achilles tendon, you know? And he, you know... Barely had any time to really come back from that. You know, gee, I don't know. Maybe that's the... <laughs> it's just so funny to me, bro. It's like, gee, I don't know. Maybe that's the reason why you're not seeing the same Tomac. You know what I mean? Spencey Boy took his hand off the controller here, but it's just like, come on, guys. Why do we have to sit here and try to play this stupid game of let's blame it on this thing and then let's blame it on that thing and then let's... Let's act like it's this and let's act like it's that instead of just 
like admitting the obvious thing that it probably is. I wouldn't even say probably. I would say it definitely is. You know, it's like everybody's trying to act like it's all these other things or try to make all these other assumptions of why Tomac's having a weird season other than the the glaring obvious thing that is right in front of everybody's face, which is the ruptured Achilles tendon that he didn't have enough time to come back from, to be full-blown Tomac level. I mean, Tomac's so good that he can come back and still be pretty good. You know, 80% Tomac is still pretty damn good, but the point here is, is that's why you're not seeing the 100% level like Tomac that you saw last year or Tomac that you saw winning all those championships. It's like people just love to selectively forget that he just went through all that, that injury shit from last year. Basically, what's going on here is they, they don't want to believe it. You know, they don't want to believe that Tomac had that injury and it's going to affect the way he's riding because they love Tomac so much. But but it's making it where you're you're kind of being disingenuous. You're actually making it look really weird because now it's like people are starting to blame all these other things that it's just simply not, you know. That's the way I look at it. But yeah, 